Welcome to Celtic State of Mind. I'm Paul John Dykes and today I felt it necessary to come on and say thank you to everyone who was involved in our quadruple treble charity weekender. I know that many of you would have tuned in but um, very uh, unlikely that you would have seen the whole 24 hours of footage. So what I wanted to do is to come on and say thank you and to share some of the um, videos that we actually received from the world of football and entertainment that you may not have seen when you tuned in uh, over the weekend itself. We have uh, raised over £26,000 along with your assistance, thanks to your assistance, and I want to thank everybody who donated. Um, however much they were able to donate, it's all accumulated to an incredible amount that will be going out to four charities, Rock Talk, Help for the Homeless, Children First, and Food Facts Friends. That's helping food banks, vulnerable children, the homeless, and and mental health. Uh, one of the most well received aspects uh, of the lead up to the fundraiser were the videos of support. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share these with you because it really was quite incredible. Um, before I do that, I'm pretty sure that uh, you'll be happy to um, have my image removed for a second or two. I'll keep the volume on. And we'll share some videos with you. This was incredible to get so many uh, well-wishers starting off with Gianni Capaldi, who is also a, a famous actor as well as a Celtic fan. Listen, Paul, I don't know how you're doing it, but I'm in Las Vegas and I'm hearing about the wonderful things you're doing for charity. So I had to record a wee message just to say thank you, congratulations, and you're doing us proud. And good luck when you're pushed for the 19th and the 20th. Honestly, special time of year and you're a special person. Thank you. We also received uh, numerous messages from ex Celts. One of my favourite players from the centenary season was the only, the one and only rather, Frank McAvenny, who has appeared on a Celtic State of Mind previously, and it was lovely to hear these uh, messages from people like Maka. A wee message to Paul John Dykes. How you doing, buddy? It's Maka. Listen, just want to tell you that everyone's so proud of you. All your charity work that you're doing, very inspirational, mate. Um, keep up the good work and keep uh, the fight up for our team, Celtic. You see a lot of good things, Paul. So um, very proud of you. Take care, buddy. As you can imagine, it's humbling hearing these words from someone who you paid to watch in the green and white hoops in one of the most memorable seasons. Um, another player who I loved, he was on, only at Celtic for a wee while, but I absolutely loved Craig Bellamy. And you don't hear much from Craig Bellamy, so this was amazing. And uh, I don't mind him getting my name wrong. A big shout out for John Dykes um, for putting on, uh, putting on a great charity event uh, for some great causes. Um, well done. Keep up the good work and um, hope everyone enjoys it. Take care. Bye. The one and only Craig Bellamy, now the under-21s coach at Anderlecht. Um, Alan Thompson, another brilliant signing under Martin O'Neill. Uh, he lent his support by getting in touch as well. And this is what Tomo had to say. Hi, Paul. It's uh, Alan Thompson here. Um, just want to say, keep up the great work with the uh, Celtic State of Mind charity. Um, absolutely inspirational. Um, fantastic, keep it going and all the best for the 19th and the 20th of December, fantastic and have a great Christmas, hail hail Brilliant words from Tomo. Uh, another big, big hero of mine is someone I've had the absolute pleasure to have met uh, a couple of times. Uh, we all know the story about big John Hartson, how he fought back from uh, near death with cancer. He's fought gambling addiction and he's just a, a right good lad. And this is what John had to say. Hiya Paul, John. How's it going mate? Um, just want to say uh, a big well done to you and a huge gratitude for all your great work that you're doing for the, the Celtic State of Mind. I've um, seen some really positive messages on you from current players and, and, and former players of course. Um, the reason they're sending their best to you mate is because they respect you because you're a great host and a really nice fella. So good luck on the 19th and the 20th. Hope you raise lots of funds for great calls is and I wish you well mate all the best top top man 
this is where it got a little bit interesting. This is when some of the faces from the world entertainment got involved. Tony Curran, who is a massive Celtic fan, he gets involved in the broadcast from time to time. Big time actor. And not only sending us a wee video message, but he also gave us four items, four very bespoke items, if you like, um, with his signature on many of them for our eBay auction. So here's a wee message from Tony. Great respect for Tony Curran. How you doing, everybody? It's Tony Curran here. I'd like to lend my support to Paul John Dykes and Ken Walsh, a Celtic State of Mind podcast. This weekend, they have the um, quadruple treble um, fundraiser, weekend of fundraiser over 24 hours, um, and it'll be raising uh, money and awareness for um, vulnerable kids, for homelessness, um, food banks and also people with uh, mental health issues. Obviously, it's been a very challenging year for everybody and um, uh, anything that anybody can donate would be would be greatly appreciated. Um, I have a few little bits and bobs here, um, which will be on the auction. Uh, these are a pair of vans that are hand painted by my sister-in-law, bless her, Mr. Martin Comston. Our good friend has donated a hundred pounds for these so far. Thank you for that, Martin. Um, I've also got some other little Doctor Who uh, memorabilia that was given to me, um, and I've signed them. Also, my friend Ross Muir, Ross Muir Art, has donated this lovely uh, picture um, of well, it's Vincent Van Gogh, a square golf, it's called. And um, I also uh, so thank you for that, my man. Thank you, Ross. And uh, I've also got a signed poster of. Um, of Outlaw King here. So, um, yeah, they'll be, they'll be on the auction if, um, if anybody would like to donate. That would be much appreciated. Obviously, it's for a very, very um, important um, cause. And um, uh, hopefully we can raise as much money as possible and win a quadruple treble at the same time. So, hail, hail. Good luck, everybody. Thank you. Take care. I'm glad he gave us a wee close-up of that T-shirt because that's an absolute cracker. And yeah, we did win the quadruple treble, didn't we? So a whole week ago, fantastic achievement by Celtic. And uh, Tony Curran's items and all the other eBay items were packaged up and uh, sent out. Unfortunately, they went out on Christmas Eve, so there might be a slight delay for anybody out there who uh, was good enough to make bids on the eBay auction. Uh, this has to go down as one of the most obscure, but one of my favourite messages. This came in from... Wynn Evans, who's an opera singer, and you may recognise him from the Go Compare adverts. Imagine the guy from the advert singing your name in the same style. Paul John Dykes, are you there? Here's a special message just to show I care. Paul John Dykes. Dykesy. Paulsy. Johnsy. How you doing, mate? I just wanted to say... Good luck for the 19th and the 20th. What tremendous work you're doing for these charities. It's incredible. Uh, I was going to run it myself. Uh, it's a problem with the legs, really. Moving one in front of the other. Struggle with that. I mean, apart from that, I could do it. No trouble at all. But um, I want you to do brilliantly this weekend and raise as much money as you can. It's me, it's Wynne Evans. Uh, I'm not just singing the Go Compare song for fun. I am the Go Compare man. I know. So handsome without the moustache on. You don't have to say it. Hey, mate. I'm there. I'm there. I'm, I'm three steps ahead of you. Anyway, good luck this weekend. I'm sending you loads and loads of love. Sending you all my best wishes and raise as much as you can for these very worthwhile charities. Happy Christmas, mate. Outstanding, isn't it? Really, I've got a big smile on my face watching that again. Um, but another one of my favourites was a wee message we got in from John Funikin. Uh, as you'll know, he's a Belfast North MP and the son of the late, great Pat Funikin. And to get a message like this uh, was something else. Hello, Paul John. It's John Funigan, North Belfast MP here, and I just want to say a huge cohort, just massive congratulations for all the work that you're doing with the charity, A Celtic State of Mind. It's phenomenal work. I know it's really appreciated, so I hope that you just have a fantastic event and you keep up all the good work. Happy Christmas, everybody. Stay safe. 
that was just tremendous receiving that. And of course, I loved getting messages from Excels. Uh, we skippy Scott McDonald himself sent in a message. I hear a lot about uh, what he did against us for Motherwell on Black Sunday. Who could forget that? But what a wee striker he was for Celtic. He's now obviously back in his, uh, his homeland of Australia, uh, but he took time out. So God bless you, Scott. Hi everyone, it's Scott McDonald here. I just wanted to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas in what has been a very difficult year for everyone. Some more than others though. Hence why the team at Celtic State of Mind, Paul John Dykes and the rest of the boys have set up this great initiative uh, with four different charitable organisations. They've set up a GoFundMe page and they're looking to hit their targets, boys and girls. So let's get them over the line. It's a great initiative, like I said, and there's some great prizes to be won also. So please, once again, go and get on the page. And once again, a very Merry Christmas to all. Hail, hail. We Skippy, that was tremendous. Thank you, Scott McDonald. Um, a couple of others came in surprisingly. Uh, Mark Bowen, you might remember Mark Bowen as a, a stalwart for the likes of Tottenham Hotspur, Norwich, and West Ham. He went on to become a very highly rated coach, most notably um, under the uh, tutelage of Mark Hughes. He all, all often works with Mark Hughes. So, Mark Bowen, uh, Welsh international. Ad- internationalist had this to say about Axom's fundraising endeavours. Hi there Paul John it's Mark Bowen here I'd like to wish everybody the very best for the upcoming weekend with the Celtic State of Mind and the quadruple treble charity event you've got coming up. Good luck to everybody hope you raise a lot of money and hail hail Great words from Mark Bowen and um, another guy who is an absolute legend at Celtic, ex-captain, treble winner. I remember being his testimonial against Manchester United. Now the club ambassador, he's the type of man who never passes you. I remember uh, last year he turned out for the Celtic Greats. As you may know, a Celtic State Mind sponsor the Celtic Greats, which means I do get to uh, be involved and I would never turn that down, even though my ability doesn't allow me to uh, rub shoulders properly with many of these players. But I have shared the pitch with this great man. He's a club ambassador, Tommy Boyd. Hello folks, it's uh, Tom Boyd here. Uh, just on to give my support to the Celtic State of Mind's quadruple treble fundraiser, which is this weekend, the 19th and 20th of December. Uh, and all fundraising uh, efforts will go towards uh, mental health issues, homelessness, food banks and uh, vulnerable children. Uh, quite a lot of these are all interlinked. So every penny, every pound that you can give uh, towards uh, uh, this will go certainly go to people who are deserving and uh, need your help in these very, very difficult times. So please be as generous as you can. Hail, hail and hope we'll have a, a great weekend. Well, your hopes came to fruition, Tom. We did have a great weekend. It was a wee bit uh, emotional. It was topsy-turvy, but we got there in the end. And when I think back to being a football fan, there's several players that you really admired from afar, players that you kind of wished would sign for Celtic at some point. You just thought they were Celtic kind of class. And the next two messages are coming from such players. First one up is Stevie Staunton. I always remember him um, at Liverpool, Aston Villa, but also as part of Jack Charlton's Republic Island side as well. Um, he was a he was a proper proper stalwart for the the island team back in the eighties and nineties. And of course, he went on to manage the Republic Island as well. Here's a wee message from Stevie Staunton. Hello, this is Steve Staunton here, former Republic of Ireland international. I'm asking you to please lend your support to the wonderful charitable causes set up by a Celtic state of mind on the 19th and 20th of December. Please give generously. Brilliant to see Stevie Staunton, uh, as I say, an iconic figure from back in the day. I remember watching him in those famous uh, World Cup final tournaments, European Championship finals. Uh, great, great Ireland side, great memories under Jack Charlton. The other player that I was referring to is the one and only Bernie Slavin. I always thought Bernie would be a great striker for Celtic. He told us in actual fact on a Celtic state of mind that he did come close to signing for the club a couple of times, once under Billy McNeil and 
once under Liam Brady, I think, in the early 90s, he'd have been a great wee sign for Celtic. Hi, it's Bernie Slavin here. Good luck to Celtic State of Mind uh, quadruple treble fundraiser, which is on the 19th and the 20th of December. Uh, I believe you're, you're raising money for the homeless, uh, food banks. Can you believe food banks in this day and age and homelessness and, and children in need? So good luck with the fundraiser. Hope you raise thousands of pounds for great causes and well done each and every one of you. Cheers. Great guy, Bernie, an absolute legend at Middlesbrough, and you would have noticed over his right shoulder the team lineups uh, at Celtic Park actually for the Pat Bonner testimonial. Bernie scored that day at Celtic Park for Ireland. Uh, Celtic won three two with a hat trick by Jerry Craney. Now Jerry Craney had long gone from Celtic when the next guest uh, came to the club. He was signed for six hundred and fifty grand from Dunfermline Athletic, turned into a club legend, captain decide. You know he played. In the World Cup Finals in 98 he played in Seville he was part of the team that stopped the 10 the one and only Jackie McNamara Good luck to Paul John Dykes and the Celtic State of Mind podcast this on the 19th and 20th uh, great work guys do a lot of good work for charity and I hope it goes well for you all the best hell help. I love Jackie, I think he's absolutely brilliant and he's a great loss to Scottish football, I've got to say that. Um, I thought he'd done incredibly well for Thistle and Dundee United. Made a bad move down to York, but someday I hope to see him back in a manager's chair. I think he's a great, great loss to the game. Um, another absolute legend who, you know, if you've ever met him you'll know that your uh, opinion of him will only go one way as the world class fullback Daniel Fergus McGrain Hi Paul up to your charity work again do you ever take a day off good luck Paul and have a nice Christmas Danny was holding on to a retro version of the old uh, Love Street 1986 jersey. Um, obviously that famous goal he was part of. An amazing move down the right-hand side. I'm not going to say who finished the move off, but Danny certainly started it. And you can buy those jerseys from the penalty spot, who were one of our sponsors of the quadruple treble weekend. And they'll be getting a shout-out later on uh, in this very short extra Axon Bulletin. The next uh, guest that came up, which amazes me because I sit here in the studio and I watch him uh, on a regular basis on Sky Sports is John Paul Davies who is a Sky broadcaster and journalist and uh, he gave us this lovely message Hello, John Paul Davis here from Sky Sports News. Just wishing you at a Celtic state of mind all the very best for the quadruple treble charity weekend on December the 19th and 20th. I think the fact that you're doing something like this thinking about other people, given the current circumstances, is, is pretty impressive um, and says a lot about your heart as well. So if you can, please offer any support that you can to a Celtic state of mind for the quadruple travel charity weekend, December the 19th and 20th. Hope it goes really well. Good luck, guys. How lovely was that? Um, now, we've already heard the goal compare uh, advert singer in Win Evans singing Paul John Dykes. Here we have Bryn Terfel, a uh, bass, baritone, opera and concert performer, um, and a son no less, singing a state of mind, a Celtic state of mind, on the piano. <laughs> It's Bryn Terwell here. Please lend your support to a wonderful charitable event set up by the Celtic State of Mind. May I wish you all the best. I'm very impressed with all your endeavours. A wee touch of class there from Bryn Terrell. Um And we also got some surprising ones from ex-players. And here is Swansea City icon. He's now a youth team coach and club ambassador. It's Lee Trundle. Hi, I'm Lee Trundle, Swansea City club ambassador. Please support Celtic State of Mind. And following on from that nice Welsh connection that we seem to have running through many of these messages is Alan Curtis, a Welsh internationalist and a Swansea City legend. Hi, I'm Alan Curtis, ex-Swansea City footballer. 
Uh, please support Celtic State of Mind. Unbelievable to get so many incredible messages from the world of sport and entertainment. And um, we moved into the world of rugby to hear from St. Helens winger Regan Grace. Hi guys, Regan Grace here, St. Helens Rugby League Grand Final winner. Best wishes to Paul John Dykes and a Celtic state of mind for the amazing charity work going on next weekend. Well done guys, it's an absolutely amazing achievement. Also, happy birthday to Paul John Dykes. Have a great one mate, take care. How nice was that? Absolutely tremendous. Now, I mentioned earlier on that Mark Bowen was a coach often under the tutelage of Mark Hughes. Here's Sparky right here. Hi, Paul John. Just wanted to send a quick message of support for you and your charity, your Celtic State of Mind. I know there's a big event at the weekend, so I wish you well with that. Take care and stay safe. You remember Sparky as an ex-Manchester United striker who also played with Chelsea, Barcelona and Bayern Munich. He has managed 610 games at international or EPL level. Would you have him back up at Celtic Park? Um, has he even ever played here? I know that when we played the testimonial, it was down at Old Trafford. Would you bring him up, him and Mark Bowen? Who knows what might happen in the future. Uh, another Welshman, this time Johnny Owen, an actor, a director, and the man behind The Three Kings, which if you haven't already seen it, you should check it out. And a guest appearance from none other than Vicky McClure. Hello, this is just a quick message from Johnny Owen. Uh, I'm the filmmaker that did The Three Kings, and I just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Good luck to the Celtic State of Mind quadruple treble fundraiser, and I'm offering one of these, which is going to be a signed poster of the film, and that's being held up by none other than Vicky McClure. Hey, So, uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. How good was that? So he gave us a poster as well, which went for an incredible £500 in our charity auction. A couple of more videos to go before we wrap up this morning, this afternoon rather. And once again, another broadcaster, Sean Hawley, who is a former Ospreys coach as well. Hello everybody, season's greetings to you. This is Sean Hawley, uh, former Ospreys coach and now Scrum 5 Premier Sport Rugby Pundit, um, I just wanted to give you a short message to ask you to please support a very worthy cause, uh, an awesome charitable event, December 19th, 20th, organised by a Celtic State of Mind, a very worthy charity. Uh, I know there's lots of charities out there, but please give of your time and your generous donations. Uh, it'll go a long, long way. And uh, thank you very much to a Celtic State of Mind for all they're doing in that field. I uh, hope everybody is staying safe, has a great Christmas in spite of all the restrictions, and uh, I hope you have a great time. Excellent message there from Sean Hawley. Now, the final message came in from Shane Williams, former World Rugby Player of the Year. Hello, it's uh, Shane Williams here, former Wales, Ospreys and British and Irish Lions rugby player. Uh, I'm here today to send you a message to ask for your support for Celtic State of Mind Charity for the event on the 19th of December. We are looking for donations, support and fundraising and anything you can do really to help this fantastic charity um, in this tough time, and especially this close to Christmas. Anyway, Nadori Llawen, Merry Christmas, look after yourselves. Diolch So there you have it. Absolutely tremendous. Uh, blown away by the generosity of people giving us the time um, to take these videos and send them into a Celtic state of mind. But, um, you know, my personal favourites are out there. I'm pretty sure you'll like uh, your own videos and your own messages as well. We had a piper in actually in the studio over that weekend, Louis Petarana. And, um, you know, I might actually play one of his songs as well. Now, just to let everybody know that the, the money's raised are on their way to all the charities and they will be obviously in two parts you'll have the GoFundMe uh, page and also the eBay auctions so the, the payments are being made to those four charities who would all love to pass on their gratitude to everybody who donated. Um, all the overheads of that weekend, every single penny was covered by a state of mind and that um, is just to remind everybody that uh, makes comments on a YouTube video such as you know you must have made some money off the monetization of the videos because we did go out to uh,
around 100,000 people that weekend. Absolutely not. There was no monetization. Everything we did, um, we covered the overheads just to make sure that 100% of the cash raised went to the charities involved. We also got an incredible message from Primal Scream, um, which I retweeted. I mean, one of my favourite bands of all time. They took the time out to wish us all the best and they put the link on their Twitter page as well. The content for the weekend is being um, divvied up, so we're going to put them out as individual shows, as both videos and audios on the podcast as well so you can enjoy them uh, or look back on some of the incredible moments that we enjoyed over that weekend um, I'm going to thank all the shows who were involved again uh, Celtic Crack St Rocks Celtic Underground Celtic A to Z Electronic Tims The Cynic The Huddle Breakdown Pod 67 The Celtic End The Cano Foundation Four Tims on a Pod Selic Da, Selic Down Under, Selic Fans TV, Glasgow is Green, Football CFB, The Grand Old Podcast, and Come On the Hoops. We also had sponsors at GBM's um, Electrical Mechanical Services, North Broad Street Records, who deal in rare soul music, Rome Mech, Indigo Square, Rock Talk, Thistle Safety, Scott Bonner Football, The Penalty Spot, GRV Media, IH Decorating, Jitterbit, Volt, Fans Bet, Hub and Sure, all access training services. So it was incredible that these people came together um, and were able to give us some, you know, much needed funds for the weekender as well. It was Stephen Forbes who gave us the St. Rock's donation. Uh, so thank you to all the sponsors, all the shows, and the Axom team, everybody from Kelvin to Kelly to all the presenters to Mikey who does all our graphics. It was an incredible weekend and you all helped some fantastic causes now you know the bagpipes aren't for everybody but because we won the quadruple treble we let Louis uh, pipe us out and I'm going to do that again today for this extra special short sharp and sweet Axon Bulletin <laughs> 